a CT scan of chest, axial image, lung window, bone algorithm, and a thin cut. This is HR CT scan, HR CT scan of chest, high resolution CT scan. Now the purpose of today's video is to be able to differentiate, is to learn to be able to differentiate between a pulmonary artery and a pulmonary vein. On a chest CT scan, you'll see several blood vessels passing through the lung parenchyma. How would you tell whether this one is a pulmonary artery or a pulmonary vein, whether this one is a pulmonary artery or a pulmonary vein, whether this one is a pulmonary artery or a pulmonary vein? The answer is quite simple. Vessels running parallel to bronchi are pulmonary arteries. They run in a bronchovascular bundle. So this is a bronchus and this is a pulmonary artery, a branch of pulmonary artery. This is a bronchus and this is a branch of pulmonary artery. This is more likely to be a pulmonary vein. This is more likely to be a pulmonary vein and this is a pulmonary artery. This is a pulmonary artery, bronchial branch pulmonary artery, bronchial branch, this is likely to be a pulmonary vein. Now it is really uh, not advisable to comment on one image. Uh, you have to see a whole set of images before you, you comment on any anatomical structure or pathology, but we'll assume that these this is a blood vessel and these are all blood vessels. Sometimes you can see a bronchus running behind or above it but we just have one image so we're assuming that this is the there's no uh, bronchus in this area one more thing before we go the size of the pulmonary artery should be equal or more than the size of the bronchus that is running parallel to it in this case the this bronchus is bigger than the pulmonary artery so the patient has bronchiectasis this is known as signet ring sign if you can see this is a ring like a structure with a pearl uh, attached to the to the ring this is known as signet ring this is probably a no, normal size bronchus uh, the bronchus is smaller than the size of the artery and you can see the uh, signs of bronchiectasis, thickened bronchial walls and cystic changes with collapsed lung parenchyma. Thank you very much.